Hello and a very warm welcome. In this video, we're going to be going through what to put your baby in to go to sleep. Lots of you ask me so many times about how to dress your baby and it can be an absolute minefield. OK, so I'm going to be walking you through it. The first thing we need to know is how warm or cold the room is. So we need to take the temperature of the room. Only then we can then decide how to dress our baby. OK, so there are lots of different things you can use to determine how hot or cold your the bedroom is. Um, first of all is you can have a thermometer on your phone. There's an app you can use. You can be old school and actually have a thermometer. Or there's a really great product called the Grow Egg. OK, I'm going to be sharing a picture of this with you and a link to it. This is my favourite product to use when I work with families and what the very exact same thing that I use when my little boy was a baby as well. So it's a little egg. Um, it's an egg shape and it doubles up as two things. It doubles up as a temperature the take the temperature in the baby's room. And it also doubles up as a nightlight. OK, so it will glow either red or orange, which is not detrimental to um, our sleep environment, which is absolutely perfect. OK, it comes as a plug in. Um, I will share a picture of this with you and exactly what it looks like. So you can put it in the room of where your baby is sleeping. If your baby is still sleeping in the bedroom with you, absolutely fine. No problem at all. Likewise, if they're now in their own bedroom, pop it in there, okay? It doesn't matter where they are sleeping, which bedroom they are sleeping in, that is completely and utterly your choice and always will be. So I'm not here to tell you which room they should be sleeping in or if they should be sleeping away with you or not, completely your choice. So whichever room they are sleeping in, we need to take the temperature of the room, okay? Once we know what the temperature is, we can then decide how to dress them. So no matter what bedroom they're in, they should always be in a clear, safe sleep space. OK, so ideally on their own in um, a crib or a Moses basket or a cot. If you are choosing to co-sleep, you definitely need to take this into consideration because your body heat will automatically raise the temperature of your baby. OK, so that's something to always look out for. Always go on the Lullaby Trust um, website and they give you some brilliant, brilliant tips on how to co-sleep safely. OK, if you want to co-sleep, again, absolutely fine. But we just need to bear this in mind when it comes to the temperature of how warm or how cold our baby is. So let's say, for example, they are sleeping in their own cot or their own Moses basket or next to me, something that is purely a safe space for them. We need that to be clear and we need it to be a, um, a flat surface. OK, so we want tight fitting sheets and we want the cot clear of absolutely everything. So it's just them in the cot. So we know the temperature of the room. We can then use this guide that I'm going to show you on how to work out how many layers to put on and what TOG sleeping bag to use. I always recommend when I work with a family to use a sleeping bag. They are brilliant. There's two reasons I love. A, well, actually, there's three reasons I, le I love using a sleeping bag. OK, the first one is that we always know your little one is going to be warm enough. So with a blanket, once they get a bit wriggly and a bit fidgety, they can kick the blanket off. With a sleeping bag, we know it's always going to stay on all night long. So they're going to be warm enough all night long. So we don't need to worry about them being cold in the winter months. The second reason is that it doesn't ride up over their face. OK, so you'll have ones that either have poppers on the shoulders. It'll have a zip and it'll have kind of like a neckline that will never go above baby's face. So there's no chance of suffocation, which is obviously brilliant. The third reason, as your little one gets older and they are in their own cot, it stops them cocking up their second leg up and over the cot to, um, for them to climb out. So it prevents them from climbing and escaping their cot, so it keeps them nice and safe, OK? They're the reasons I love using a sleeping bag. If you don't want to use a sleeping bag, that is absolutely fine. Just bear in mind what kind of blankets you're using. If they're a cellular blanket, when they're apart and just as one blanket, that's one layer. If you fold it in half, that's two layers. If you fold it in three, that's three layers. So just be mindful of what kind of blanket you're using and kind of what layers you're putting on top of your child. OK, so we're going to go with sleeping bags for the moment. Each sleeping bag has a tog. 
and that relates to the warmth and the thickness of of what it is and when to use it okay so for example in the summer you can get ones that are like sheet like brilliant okay so keep baby nice and cool likewise in the winter there's some really higher tog ones that keep your baby nice and warm okay so that's why we need to know the temperature of the room first we then use the guide that i'm going to share with you to work out what tog sleeping bag to use and what layers to put on underneath okay so here's the guide okay guys so this is the grow egg this is what i was talking about it's by um the grow company i will pop the link in the comments below for you but this is something that i love to use uh, that measures the temperature of the room so this is the chart i was talking about so get your phone out either take a screenshot if you're on your phone or take a picture of it it's always really really handy to have and refer back to so always go by this is your guidance so now you've seen the guide i hope you've taken a screenshot of it so you've always got it to keep so now you know the temperature of your little one's room where they're sleeping how to layer them up which tog sleeping bag to use um that will give you exactly all the information you need to know on how to dress your baby and what to put them in put them in i hope you found it useful